we need to find the potential energy between a mass m0 and a uniform sphere which is at a distance r from this mass m0 and then we also need to find the force between the mass and the sphere so sphere is quite big so let's break it into small small shells first and within a shell let's take one ring so again we need to find between m0 and a solid uniform sphere but to begin with because we need to take elements we'll take a shell element and within that shell element we'll take a ring element because then only all the particles of that ring are at the same distance from m0 and we will be able to calculate the small potential energy due to that ring so due to shell we cannot do due to solid sphere of course we cannot do but for a ring we can do so we'll find it for a small ring first then we'll integrate that ring to find it on the shell first sorry on the shell second and then for adding all those shells we'll find the final potential energy due to the whole sphere whole solid uniform sphere so let's read that let's first find u due to a shell of mass m dash so mass of the sphere is given m so let's take the shell of mass m dash now within shell let's first find the du due to the ring element on the shell so let's take this ring element which is at an angle theta from the vertical and if you go by d theta then the the thickness of this ring will be r d theta and radius of this uh, ring will be r sin theta and this distance will be r cos theta now du because of this ring we know is minus g m1 m2 by distance so minus g m0 into dm of this ring divided by this distance x because all the particles of this ring are at a distance x now what is dm so dm we can write it as the area of this ring divided by total area of this shell into m dash so dm is da upon a into m dash da area of this ring is 2 pi r sin theta into r d theta and a is 4 pi r square times m dash and x so here we have a term of theta and d theta so right let's write x also in terms of theta so for that we will consider this vector triangle so this m0 is at a distance r from the center this distance is r and this distance we need is x and this angle is theta so you can see from the vector this is the diagonal of small r and capital r so the length of the x will be root of r square plus x r square minus 2 rr cos theta so we'll put that here and now we'll take the constants out and our if you put the value of dm as this what you'll get is u is equal to minus g m not m dash by 2 integral sin theta d theta by this quantity so this is x limits of theta so theta will the sm smallest string will be from here and then the theta will vary from 0 to pi and if we solve this so we are going to see in the next page how to solve this integral but uh, when we solve this comes to be minus g m not m dash by r so this is the potential energy due to the shell which we can see is just proportional to m dash so it doesn't matter what is the radius of that shell the potential energy is only depends on the mass of the shell and the distance of the center of the shell from m0 so for all the shells the distance of the center from m0 is always going to be r so the m dash of each shell will get add up and eventually will get the total potential energy due to the uniform sphere is minus g m0 m by r where m is the mass of all the individual shells when we add them so this is our answer now let's see quickly see how we solved this integral 
and then we will see the B part. So this is our integral which we need to solve. So this denominator is x, sorry, uh, yeah, denominator is x. So let's write a square of this denominator as x square. And then we differentiate both sides. So we get 2rr sin theta d theta is equal to 2x dx. So we have a term of sin theta d theta here. So we'll replace that by x dx by rr. And denominator will become root of x square, which is simply x. Now limits. So if you are talking about x, you can see the x varies from 1.1 to 0.2. So at 0.1 value of x is r minus capital R. So r minus capital R. And at this point, x is r plus capital R. So limits will be r minus r to r plus r. So we do that and you will see we will get our answer. Now B part, we need to find the interaction force between that mass and the uniform sphere. So we know force is minus du by dr r cap. So we'll put the value of u here and if we just differentiate, we'll get the force will be minus g m naught m dash by r square which means this negative sign means the force is attractive in nature. So this is the force due to the shell and here also the force is independent of capital R that is the radius of the shell. So when you add all those forces of all the shells your eventual answer will be minus g m naught m by r square. All right.